Welcome back to Water Fan TV. Um, we're here at Smash Burgers again for our lovely super fill up. And uh, we're a bit nervous, so yeah. hopefully, some nice nosh will uh, help to settle the uh, tons. Indeed. Um, for the big Warsaw Tranmere showdown. Right then, let's get some food. Stephen's smiling, getting back to Smash Burgers, aren't you? Of course. I don't know. DV back this weekend, last weekend. That's why I wasn't at the game. But um, I'm laying back on the matches and I was like, bloody hell, this is disgusting compared to this. <laughs> so, you can't just, say that. You can't I, say I that. I just did. I don't have a brand deal with um, <laughs> Mackies, so it's fine. Nice one. Um, and what do you think about the game today? Excited? Nervous? I'm so nervous. Yeah, I'm like too. if we lose, let the flint's going. We're helping not. We gotta get behind Flynn, haven't we? Yeah, gotta get I, behind I, him. I hope he's not gonna go because I think I think he's got a good idea of what he needs to do. Yeah, I, I like him. The team can turn it around today. Hopefully. Hopefully, nice one. Enjoy. Well, we're gonna do team news in here because it looks like it's about to tip down the raid. <laughs> yeah, um, right then, Stephen, who we've got? We right. have been concerned about the Comley Kinsella partnership. Is he breaking that up? He is indeed. Excellent. And I think it's a, a great thing. My mid, that midfield is going to be Kinsella and Earring, but the whole squad, we presume, is going to be a 4 4 2 or could be 4 3 3, uh, with Evans and goal as usual. Back four as it was against Cheltenham. So Alan, Daniels, Peter Clark, and Bennett at the back. And then we've got the, those two CDMs maybe, or maybe the midfield three of Maddox, Earring, and Kinsella, or Kinsella, Earring. And then up through we've got Knowles, Williams and Danny Johnson, hopefully. Or if it's 4-4-2, there'll be King Earring and Kinsella, the two centre mids, and then Maddox and Knowles out on the left and right side. I think that's probably more likely, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's probably probably could, be a, could be a mix of the two. So, the bench, uh, no goalkeeper. We don't have a backup goalkeeper. <laughs> Seabeck is not anywhere. So... We do have White, Gordon and Monk as the three defenders we could bring on. Comley, Cashman, Hutchinson as the midfield three we could bring on. And uh, James Taylor. <laughs> well, you, you saw the you saw the clip I put out didn't you at yeah. the end of my preview? I don't, I don't think he'll be coming on today. Yeah, uh, I, I think maybe he was Cashman. just unlucky. It just came to him. He was in great. He was in the perfect position. I know it was. He, 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 peeled, he peeled away perfect position, he just didn't connect. Just didn't finish it. Which, uh, it's, it's all about finishing, yeah. isn't it? And that's the uh, theme of the day. We're hoping for Mike Flynn to um, get three points. Let's see. Yeah. We've just run into Trev, he's a Tranmere fan. What's your thoughts of uh, Tranmere's chances then? Well, I think um, we're on the up a bit, we're improving. Uh, last couple of three games, and um, we're coming here uh, expecting not to get beat. The uh, away win at Salford, that was a really good win, wasn't he? Yeah, didn't see much of that one, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but uh, yeah, uh, we've got uh, a couple of players come back. Uh, watch out for our um, our centre half from Southampton, Simeu. Simeu. A class player, He's so good, lucky to get him. Yeah, big coloured lad, fantastic. You've got um, quite a young team, haven't you, this season? Well, yeah, we've got a lot of young players. Uh, he blooded a lot of them against uh, Bolton in uh, midweek in the League Cup, yeah. yeah. So they're, they're, they're not looking like world beaters, but uh, <laughs> they're in reserve. But I wondered whether um, our chairman had talked about the, the effect of COVID and some teams had sort of overextended themselves. Is, is Tramia perhaps one of those teams who have had to cut the budget back, you think? Uh, Tramia will never overstretch themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Pallios is in charge. And he won't allow He's it. He's a tight, uh, they, tight he, guy, yeah, isn't he? They run a tight ship, yeah. Nice one. Well, enjoy the trip back. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> thank you. Cheers, enjoy. Bye-bye. Yes, hello, boys here. Yeah. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Looking forward to a win today. Looking forward to a win? Yeah. We're hoping so. What's your prediction, then? 2-0. 1-0 or something. A 1-0 or a 2-0? 1-0 yeah. from me. That'll do me. Danny Johnson. Danny Johnson. He's the one knocking all the goals in, isn't he? Feed him and he will score the goat. Oh, hang on, we got another one. They're, they're spreading. They're spreading. 
So uh, what do you reckon for today then? Do you think we're going to be alright? I think we'll be okay, yeah. Why not? Let's hope so. Yeah. Tranmere yeah. have been picking up. Yeah. Tranmere have been picking up and a uh, bit of a disappointing start like us, but uh, we'll see. No we'll see. Let's uh, get in there and get into the action. Yeah. Cheers. Russell Fan TV. Yay! Well, it's time for the action to start. Nerves are jangling in the stand. Are they jangling on the pitch? We'll yeah. find out in a minute. There's normally more excited singing. I think that nerves is everywhere, I think. Let's help it down transfer to the pitch. Five minutes in, first corner for Tranmere. Eddie clear by earring, well done. It's not as much for him, is it really, for this book? It's up there, have a go, Kins, come on. Corner ball. Walsall's first corner, 10 minutes. Come on, smash it. Come on. Oh, good effort. Oh, deflected to the keeper. It's a shot, a shot on target. Stephen, whatever next. Potentially a goal. We said we'd like one off somebody's bum if we needed to. <laughs> Kins doing his usual, that's good. 12 minutes, good run by Jack Earing, wins a free kick on the left. First set piece, Warsaw not been doing particularly well on set pieces, let's see whether that can change. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Earing, no. Come on! Pop it home! How did that get out? Yeah. That's right, that was going on. Oh, that was just needed a little toe poke, didn't he? Yeah. Good ball in now, excellent ball in. Um, another corner for Warsaw. Oh no, throw in. I thought he went there for corner. That went there for corner, didn't he? Oh no. <laughs> so, another throw. Come on, Warsaw. There's plenty of action there. On you. Oh dear. 23 minutes gone. First uh, set piece challenge for Tramia. Where's that going? Oh, Eddie Clear, Peter Clark, nice one. 32 minutes, uh, long throw for Walsall. Not getting much change out of these so far, but uh, let's see what we can do. Come on. That's not even reached the Warsaw one. Oh, good ball in. Oh, DJ. DJ connected. Seemingly pulled back, but uh, nothing from the ref. Hearing. Come on, Taylor. Oh, he's having a go. Half time, nil nil. Fairly tight affair, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah, it's quite quite tight. I'm quite impressed with what I've seen so far. I am. Um, Defense, both defences on top, in yeah, fairness, right. not many chances that, for either team. Right, got on that, number 26. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's quite good, he's, he's, he's solid. He's 10 minutes, to be fair. Yeah. We'll have him next. We'll have him next. <laughs> um, Jack Earing's doing well so far, and uh, Liam Bennett, looking very good. Um, Maddox, playing in the centre of the pitch. Not sure that's getting the best out of him, but... Um, I'm glad to see uh, we've only got one CDM. 
I think it's made a difference to Kinsella. Kinsella seems to have stepped his game up. Yeah, his distribution seems to be a lot better. I think because we only playing one CDM. He knows he can be a place. Yeah. Instead of playing two CDM, it's like, oh, well, we're both on the pitch. Put in pressure. Yeah, if it's going to change, we're changing the whole way out of the team. Whereas in, it was just one of them, it's like, okay, I need to perform, otherwise I'm going to get dropped. But he, he, knew, he knew he must have been close to losing his place. Yeah. And uh, having pressure on your place, that's uh, that's what you need all over the pitch, isn't it? Yeah. But um, they're kicking down this end second half, so hopefully I've got bring some good goals for us. Hopefully. One off somebody's bum would be fine. <laughs> Right then, as we start the second half, we hear that Kieran Morris is on. Um, he's sure to score for them, even though he couldn't hit a barn door when he played for us. But uh, you never know. Come on, Warsaw, let's keep it up. Not a bad performance first half. Let's uh, get one of those 95 minute performances that we've been uh, looking for. Get that ball into the box. Good ball in. On your head, son. Oh. No, too far. What's the counter? Jack Earring again. He's uh, having a good game so far. Just waiting for him to have his assist. Or his goal, that would be nice. Corner coming in. Oh, come on, Kins. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> You'd well to win that, I think, there. 48 minutes, free kick. Come on, Warsaw, deliveries, everything. Oh, got his head on it. Just uh, fine margins, just needed to glance it, got too much on it. Hitting us on the counter now, we're going to watch this, that's going to him, yep. Good save. Must have had best chance of the game with the header from uh, DJ. And that was their best chance of the game. Still nil-nil, 49 minutes. Far post, come on. He's hurt his foot doing that. Yep. Oh dear, that don't, uh, that don't bode well. He'll be off, he will. He's been playing well, he's man of the match up to that point. Yeah, Jack's unable to continue. Jack Earing, man of the match, so far he was. Um, Liam Gordon is uh, replacing him, so it's good to see him get more minutes. Um, and a decent cameo uh, away to Cheltenham. Let's see what he can do today. Me neck. Where's that going? Offside. Nervous moment. 61 minutes, still nil nil. Five thousand eight hundred. Thank you to the visiting Tranmere fans. <laughs> 65 minutes, free kick, Warsaw. This one's going to be underneath the bar. That's what we're hoping for here. Oh. Miles over the bar. That was rubbish. We're going defensive. Uh, Williams, Williams has gone off and he's brought calmly on. Um, oh, can only think that that puts um, Knowles at centre forward again. But, um, Going the defensive route again. Thought uh, Douglas James Taylor was going to get a chance to redeem himself. Glaring opportunity. Uh, good work by Liam Gordon on the left. Gets the ball across and uh, just taken off Johnson's foot as he was pulling the trigger. Um, resulting corner, 68 minutes. Oh, in the right zone. Head tennis. 
Oh, head tennis is not going to do it there. Come on, Knowles. Come on, Knowles. It's a good ball across. Just uh, Gordon. Gordon just couldn't quite get there. Another course. Uh, another corner. Warsaw pressing. Can we get the breakthrough? Can we get the breakthrough? Go for Liam Gordon, perhaps. are definitely pushing and uh, can we get the breakthrough and avoid being uh, hit on the counter that's the question um, 73 minutes gone nil nil well done Kins oh dear poor pass from Comley then between the two of them on Warsaw, time to break through them. His uh, defence is on top still. Comley's creativity shown great lights there, passing it back to the centre half again. DJ, come on! Yeah. Eight, two minutes still, nil nil. Corner for Tram here. We've got to stay focused here, boys. <laughs> Great chip over the bar from Owen Evans. Well done, lad. 88 minutes, another chance for Warsaw. Uh, Tom Knowles dragged his shot wide. Um, pretty much went through uh, DJ's legs. A little uh, off his bum, one would have done. Um, but that's uh, last of the action for Tom Knowles. He's off, and on comes Douglas James Taylor. Can he make up for not finishing Tuesday? Let's have a look. Keep coming forward now, Warsaw. Come on, pick a pass, somebody. There's not many options there. No, it's no good. Kinsella won the foul again. He's had a good game, Kinsella. He is uh, frustrating when it comes to uh, trying to play a forward ball, but defensively, he has uh, done a good job. Right then, we're uh, almost starting the uh, injury time. I'm expecting about five minutes. This is not an easy ball to knock in from there. Daniel's on it. Oh, Comley. Come on there, put him away, put him away. Come on, DJ. Oh. Golden chance for Warsaw to seal it and grab the points. He just needed a cool head then, it was bloody blowed it. Cool head indeed, Stephen. It's that calmness in those key moments that makes the difference. Cool head then, and it's 1-0, uh, cool game over, three points. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. 
the last chance saloon looking for one more chance Warsaw that's straight to the keeper that is oh he's got it uh, just had a chance for tram here um, Yeah, a bit of composure, that's what we want. Come on, Warsaw, stay strong now. We sensed it, didn't we? Shot from Kieran Morris, saved and then followed up, headed home. And that's hard to take, that is. Walsall have been uh, been pretty much level with uh, Tranmere in score and performance. Both defences been on top for the last couple of minutes. It was always going to be somebody to snatch it. Uh, heartbreak. Oh yeah, that's about the last last of the injury time as well. Heartbreaking end for Warsaw. <laughs> Refs blown the whistle um, as soon as they've kicked off. So that was last kick of the game or last head of the game wins it for Tranmere. Oh, blew me neck. Um, for Warsaw. Um, Man of the match. Um, good performance from uh, Liam Bennett. He got the sponsors. Donovan Daniels and uh, Peter Clark largely excellent. Um, King Seller, best performance for a long time. Um, to be honest, I'm still going to go with the first half performance. Jack Earing, um, Bradley Moore Winders, man of the match. But, um, oh. I'm going to get off to the uh, the beer festival, I think. I need some commiserations. Um, it's tough, tough on Warsaw, that is. Very tough on Warsaw. Oh, it really is difficult to take. It is. Um, Especially after you've played well all game and then it just happens to be in the last couple of minutes of the game you've um, accidentally thrown it away. The thing is, it can't really blame... Um, Owen Edwards for that. I mean, Owen Evans. Owen, Ewan. Owen Evans. It was a good save Owen from Owen Evans. Yeah. yeah. It was a great first save. He did get up, but he just wasn't. He wasn't able to get his second hand on it, which no, is a no. shame, really. But I mean, after the performance, like, I would Like, if it was any other day, if we if like, we won the game before, I'd be happy to lose because at least we've done a decent performance. But yeah, yeah. we are one of the worst teams in the UK right now. We Eleven. Actually are because of our goal difference, not not goal difference, because of our record. Eleven without uh, a win. Yeah, because of, our, because of our record, we are one of the worst teams in the UK right now. And uh, we're and just talking to a guy in his car. Um, the, his, his three girls come to the match, and uh, we cheering, cheering Donovan Daniels when he clears. Yeah, which, uh, is, like, which is how, that's yeah, all well and good. Way, but I mean, you look at it, isn't it? he's got to be better, haven't we? Well, no, it's the way you got to look at it. The defender has been clear, like the, the defender's been clapped for doing his job, which makes yeah, sense yeah. for clearing the ball. Can we but clap then, the strikers for doing their job? But then, They're not, are they? Yeah, but that's the thing. You clap the strikers when they score. You cheer for the strikers when they score. The only, pe the only people who don't really get the applause is midfielders. They're then the ones who are like, doing the most work. But today, like, it was 50-50. Like, they did push a lot. But then there was a couple of times where like, they should have tried a little bit more and tried yeah, to get I themselves thought, in there a bit. To be honest, I think largely, I thought the midfield was better today. It was. It was more balanced. Kinsella was better. Earring obviously went off, which was a shame, but he'd been doing well. Yeah. Uh, Maddox, he was playing more inside than I think he's more comfortable with. But I mean, he did good. And Knowles, again, Knowles full of running. The thing is, Knowles played, Knowles played well, in my opinion. But yeah, yeah. he should have looked up when sh either shooting or when he was about to pass. Or yeah. if he, he should have passed, in my opinion. But um, I think the overall man of the match got to have been the guy that uh, Trev from the Tranmere fan said before the game yeah overalls they're number 26 he's on loan from Southampton so yeah 
Obviously, he's he was be good if he's from a Premier League team. But he was uh, he was immense, wasn't he? Yeah, no, he was very good defensively. He kind of uh, just us. every time we thought we were in the clear, somehow he just got there. Yeah, he just came out of nowhere. And the only time we got a physical up against him was when Douglas James Taylor gave him a bit of a nudge, yeah. and the ref and the ref pulled it for a foul, which oh, it's a funny one. It it's is. um, it's a difficult one to take again. Um. Warsaw Fan TV, we are here for the joy and the pain, but I mean, the pain is sort of deep and ingrained, and uh, we are desperately in need of some cheering up. Yeah. Um, so Northampton, let's bat them five and eight. Well, Northampton, now this is the, uh, maybe, if I don't come, they might, they might win. No, um, we're, not, we're not looking that way. We have I, to can't get to, I can't get to the Northampton game. So it's uh, I'll be on my own, guys. George's uh, 16 plus thing I've got to go to, so uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so I'm not going to be there for that. I'll be watching on iFollow when I get home, so uh, whatever time that is, and we'll probably put a live stream on. So maybe I might be hosting it. <laughs> Steve, yeah, maybe. Do you want Stephen to host the live stream while I'm not there? That'll be That'd interesting, be a, be very interesting. And, um, time to swear. and you'll be able to if give me an update time, on whether he's managed to. Uh, Avoid swearing by the time I get to you. Yeah. Uh, if we're winning, I'll um, probably not. But if we're losing, <laughs> well, there might be a mixed emotions there. Hey? I'm not going to promise anything right now. Oh dear. Okay. Right then. Before we leave you today, give us some positives. In the comments, give me some positives. Cheer me up, please. I'll give, uh, I'll give you a positive right I'm now. I'm really down at the minute. I'll give you a couple of positives. Um, we played well. We played very well. That's but, probably but lost again. the main thing. But, but didn't Tranmere pass really. the ball around so much better than us? They did, but I feel like we're closing them down more. I feel like the players team were sort of like out of it a little bit more. We're like there. We were yeah. battling, weren't we? I suppose. Yeah, we were battling. I think that, that's the other, the, like, the other positive. We were, we were battling quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Right then, so on to the next game. Um, I think we stop port next, and uh, me and Stephen, we're going to try and work it out and see whether we can get there. Um, why, based on the recent performances, I don't know. But the last time we were on a bad run and we went to a egg match, that was Forest Green. So well, you never know. Yeah, it ended up really well. So. <laughs> Cheers! Thanks for watching Warsaw Fan TV. The joy and bundles and bundles of pain. Yeah. Thanks for watching.